guys, Tyler Hooks here with Dakota Fenn, and we are gonna talk about some of the 1.8 scale wing options that J Concepts offers for the racers. We're here at the 2023 Silver State Nitro Challenge, and no better place to really kind of cover this than uh, Silver State. It's a big track indoor, um, and we've got two great options of wings that you can run, and a couple of different options that you can do with the wings themselves. So, in my hand here, I have the F2i. Uh, this was basically our tried and true wing. We've been running this for a long time. Um, and Dakota has a couple of different things that he will do to the F2i uh, to get a little bit different performance advantages um, and different things that you can do. So every once in a while, you'll probably run it just as it comes out of the bag, right? Yeah, so running it uh, standard is gonna be, you know, the maximum amount of grip. Uh, you get the full full wicker on there and then no holes in it at all. Um, so it's just gonna be the maximum amount of downforce, uh, maximum amount of grip, you know, in and out of the corner. Um, and then the downfall of that is it's not gonna jump quite as good, especially in windy conditions. Um, so something that I do that I really like is I'll cut holes in the back here of the wing. <laughs> Um, just do small holes all the way across the whole wing and that, uh, that lets the air flow through the wing so lets it uh, take away a little bit of grip in the corners. You're able to uh, flow through the 180s a little bit better. Um, high speed, the, the rear end will follow the front a little better and then it also jumps uh, better with, uh, with that little bit of airflow. Um, the final option would be just cutting the wicker off itself. Yeah, so there's this wicker on the top side that basically is flat with the rest of the wing. So it creates a little pocket of air underneath. So what happens when you cut it off? Yeah, uh, so I feel like when you do that, that's going to be the least amount of grip possible. Um, that lets the car kind of float a little bit more on the rear end and uh, takes, so it takes away the most amount of grip and uh, makes it the most aggressive. Uh, so I typically, this is really a really good middle option to holes and that's typically what I'll do. So what we've kind of seen with running the F2i is, is typically outdoor when it's windy, this wing likes, likes the wind a little bit better. Everything stays a little bit flatter. And what we've seemed to notice is that this wing doesn't transfer weight back and forth front to back on the car as much. Um, if you are looking for a little bit more grip or a little bit more front to back uh, bias transfer off throttle on throttle, you would run the Razor. Yep. And we have a couple of different options that you can do with the Razor, so let's go through some of the different things that you do with that. Yeah, so that's a great, great point you mentioned on the F2i. It's just a very overall neutral wing um, and just a, a really good option. And then the Razor wing, uh, we have a few options here. Um, it comes with dip holes for these uh, six main holes here. Um, that's something that most people will always use to start. Um, as you can see, this has a, a huge back on it, so it creates a lot of downforce. Uh, so what this wing does really good is it has a lot of acceleration coming out of the corner, a lot of forward drive, and a lot of grip. And then when you come to the 180s let off, um, it releases really well and rotates to the corner, and then you can get that drive out of the corner really good. Um, and then really the main thing with this is you just have to be a little bit more careful with windy conditions. Um, since there is such a big back on here, it'll catch the wind a little bit more. Um, so that's where you can see here, I have quite a little bit of a, little small holes here throughout the wing. Um, those are really just to help with, uh, with the jumping ability and then also just free it up a little bit more in the corners. And then the last thing that we've even heard about doing with this wing is obviously the back part of the wing is not as tall as the side dams. So the other thing that you can do is even cut the side dams to be the same height as the back part of the wing and that's going to take even a little bit more grip away from the car center corner. Um, so there's just a bunch of different options that you can do with the two different wings. Uh, much like kind of what we talked about in our carpet wing video uh, with the Lexan wings. Um, and yeah, so here at Silver State, indoor track, what's kind of been the go-to? Yeah, so I've been running the Razor wing. Um, it really fits my driving style and uh, the TLR cars really well. Um, I really like to have that four drive out of the corner to uh, drive through the bumps at Silver State conditions and then on uh, tracks with more grip just get that get that drive out of the corner really accelerate to uh, the next obstacle or next turn. Um, and then I really like how it uh, frees up in the 180s. So Razor Wing is uh, my normal go-to now. And then uh, if, if we're really uh, winning track conditions like uh, DNC if it would be outside um, under typical track conditions, then the F2i would be a, a good one to uh, try. All right, big thank you to Dakota Finn for taking the time to explain some of this stuff to us. And we will keep bringing you more content on the J Concepts channel. So we'll see you soon.